Hi, my name is Jose and this is my good friend Matt here from SBT and uh, Matt just wanted to say thank you for uh, coming out here and uh, helping us explain what the typical scenario for a jet pump rebuild kit is and what it consists of. Um, could you um, give us a little explanation of when and why you would want to rebuild your jet pump? Well, thanks for having me first off. And yeah, generally when you, you rebuild the jet pump, uh, you have bearings that go bad in the pump, um, as well as uh, rebuilding and taking out the, the wear ring. Uh, you have the impeller and the wearing that also just um, generally are wear parts that um, just over time and use just won't generally wear out. And here's some of the parts here um, from our jet pump rebuild kit, which we have uh, our O-rings that go into the nose cone. We have our snap ring um, and also we have our seals and our O-ring that goes into the part where the seals go on the pump. Um, also we have our bearing here that um, does wear out again as we spoke before. And also this is our impeller shaft, which we also would want to replace in a situation where we have the threads get damaged. So uh, just a really quick question. I have uh, spoken to uh, uh, quite a number of people um, on the phones and you know, just when you're at jet ski events and things, and, and a lot of them seem to share the same concern where they're, when they're riding and their bearings start to go out, they actually seize around their shaft. Uh, is this, are we gonna see a common trait with this specific shaft as well? Um, no, it's, it's generally not going to happen with this particular setup. Um, also, we have uh, some specialty tools that we're going to need for this job. Uh, this here is actually a, a three and a quarter pipe that we actually machined uh, so that we can uh, use to press into the bearing onto the shaft. This here is used to press in our seals and also to help press in uh, the shaft onto the bearing. And this here actually is our impeller removal tool that we use to obviously take out the impeller. Now, I did notice that the, uh, the size of that impeller removal tool is uh, slightly on the larger side as compared to any of the other, you know, SeaDo or Kawasaki uh, two-stroke. Um, is there a specific reason why that is? Um, yeah, because obviously the, uh, the splines on this impeller are considerably larger. It's actually the pump that we're going to be rebuilding is for a supercharged SeaDo. Uh, so the splines are considerably larger compared to the other tools. Okay. Could you basically give us an overview of what it's going to take to um, rebuild this jet pump? Um, yeah, our first step is going to be uh, pressing the impeller shaft onto the bearing. Then we're going to actually put the impeller shaft in a vise. And that's how we're going to put on our, our washer and our nut. After we have the actual impeller shaft inside of the housing, then we're going to assemble the other side of the housing. So then we're going to take our O-ring first, and then we're going to take our seal and press the seal in and then we're going to put in our spacer and then our uh, last seal and then we're going to put in our snap ring. Okay, I did see that you mentioned the, um, the washer and that nut. Does that washer and nut come with the uh, jet pump rebuild kit? No, it does not. Actually, um, you can reuse the impeller and nut that is on your old shaft. So you can take that off and reuse it with our kit. Okay, so it's not a like a case that um, you'll need to replace those if uh, something, one of the bearings or seals went bad in your jet pump. No, it is not a wear item. I see that you've got this coat in here. Does that also uh, come with the uh, rebuild kit or is that not included? No, that is not included. Um, these O-rings here is what actually goes into the back of the pump and then cone seals up against the housing. Okay. Well, thanks, Matt, for showing us the necessary steps it takes to, in order for us to rebuild our jet pump. For more videos like this, uh, please visit the SBT YouTube channel. My name is Jose and this is Matt. Thanks for watching.